Russia has attacked Ukraine's power infrastructure with drones and missiles, leaving around a million people without power and at least five people dead. Ukraine's state hydropower company said a Russian strike hit Ukraine's largest dam in Zaporizhia, but there was no risk of a breach. Russia says the airstrikes were to avenge Ukrainian attacks on Russian territory. Let's speak to our Eastern Europe correspondent Sarah Rainsford, who is in Kiev for us. Just tell us more about these uh, targeted strikes, Sarah. Well, this was a massive attack overnight by Russia. It's the biggest uh, that we've had here for quite some time, a combination of missiles and drones fired by Russia. They say they were targeting the energy infrastructure here, and certainly uh, there were a number of uh, hits on uh, power facilities, power plants across the country. Now, the missiles and drones were fired right across Ukraine, north, south, east and west. Uh, cities across this country were targeted. We know that Kharkiv, Ukraine's second city in the north of this country, has been left almost completely without power. In fact, even the air raid systems there, the centralised ones, are not working because of the power outage, and people are being told they'll get a notification of further missile attacks on their phones. The traffic lights are down. The water is disrupted. It's the same in other cities uh, in uh, Ukraine. We know that the Zaporizhia uh, power plant, the giant hydroelectric plant, the biggest one in the country, that was also hit, we believe, by several missiles. Uh, we've been told uh, by officials here that there is no danger that the dam itself will be breached. But obviously, this is an extremely uh, worrying attack for Ukraine. Remember, civilian infrastructure here has been targeted right throughout this war. If you remember the first winter of this war, it was one of the uh, the calling cards, if you like, of Russia. They hit power plants time and time again at the most freezing time of the year here. It's slightly warmer now, but these attacks are still absolutely devastating for Ukraine. Sarah Rainsford in Kiev, thank you very much indeed.